So this is a Timex Sinclair 1000 from the US, US version of the Zevex 81 that I'm doing up in the process of. So um, remove the old sockets. What's well, still waiting for my 40 pins for the um, for the Z80 and the ULA? So I'll put them nice machine sockets there. Um, that's the RAM. Can upgrade. So it comes with 2K. I'm going to upgrade it to 16K, but I'm going to keep it as 2K to start with because I've got some 16K and 32K expansion packs that I want to just verify work first. So then I'll uh, upgrade that. That's the ROM. So it's a 23 something, I'm not sure. So I'm going to use one of these 23 to 27 converters. Whack that in there and I can put on a different couple of ROMs that I can switch between. But before I do that, I need to get rid of these horrible resistors. So you get different types. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, I can see I'm a very professional videographer. So this is an issue three. Yeah, this is a issue three. So you've got them all horizontally. This issue one, we've got them vertically. Um, actually, here's one that I've, I've kind of done. Um, you see, I've uh, replaced replaced the resistors with some surface mount ones, which then allows me to put the um, put the ROM on. So that's what I'm going to do today. Those tiny little resistors there. Replace those ones. Replace those ones. Then I can put the um, put the converter board on for the ROM. I've replaced the 7805 regulator. There, I've replaced the um, ceramic capacitors there. So just generally, well, two electrolytics I've got to replace. So that's generally trying to neaten it up, make it look tidier. So this is a, oh yeah, so this is, I think, yeah, okay, so this is a genuine ZX81. This is the uh, Timex Sinclair, both issue ones, I guess. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. And the uh, the modulator. So I'm going to replace that as well. So what I normally do, this is another one, is I strip out the guts and then um, it's just like a, a buffer you put in there. Transistor and a couple of resistors. So I'm going to do that as well. A uh, new keyboard membrane and um, it should be, should be good to go. Now, so here's actually one where I've replaced the, um, the RF modulator. So I found the easiest way is just to desolder, desolder the whole thing off, and then you can um, basically open it all up and then get rid of the guts, and then um, put in that little, I think it's a buffer, some sort of thing, and um, you get your composite video out. So again, this is another one that I'll, um, this is an issue, okay, that's an issue three. One that I've not okay, yep, I've done I've done the 16k on this one. Um it's still got the original ULA ROM and Z80, so I'll replace those as well. Let's try and make it look neater. I've got the Traco on there. There we go. Fascinating stuff. <laughs>